exactly what these two men have in store for us today. This is the start of round number five, and you know the men in the ring. The heavyweight championship of the world broadcast to you live by satellite from Zaire in Africa. Muhammad Ali and George Foreman are in the middle of what anyone would have to say is a pretty even fight so far. Though I would put it slightly in favor of Ali. Foreman gets a hook in. Ali returns the favor. Foreman is not much used to fighting past about three rounds. He tends to score big knockouts early on. But Ali is drawing George Foreman out today, and Foreman looks tired. Foreman swinging wildly at Ali now. Not doing much damage. Ali backing up toward the ropes. Foreman following him in. Ali now leaning back against the ropes. His hands up, protecting his head. Ali letting Foreman wear himself out here. But this is Foreman's round, no question. Another quick worry from Foreman. Oh, hi, Billy. You got your rent for me? It's been a while. <laughs> um, hey, I got my first uh, boxing match today. They're gonna let you in the ring? You don't look like a boxer to me. You're gonna get crushed. I don't know why you don't forget about boxing. Well, that's all I ever wanted to do, so. Yeah, well, try and forget about it. Do something respectable. Go out one night and find a nice young lady. I want my rent, Billy. Hey, hey, Billy. Just uh, keep your hands up, keep moving, stay on your toes, and protect your face. And remember, keep your hands up. Been keeping to the training rules, Billy? Yeah, Max, I'm clean as a whistle. Right. Hey, uh, Rocco. This is Billy, the kid I've been telling you about. Hey, man, that was a... I saw the Carlos fight. That was that was a good fight. He was, that's really a great one, man. I just wanted to tell you. Uh, good luck in the ring, huh? All right, man. Look, this is your first time in the ring. Just do what we did in training, you're gonna be fine. Hey, Max, relax, all right? In about 10 minutes, this would've been so... It's gonna be tough. All right, come on, go get him. <laughs> I remember what I told you, you put that left in his face, you right. keep moving. He's not the guy's up on you. Just stick, stick him, stick him. Put that left in his face, like we did in the gym. Keep moving, right. keep that left in his right. face. Don't, don't, keep moving. Keep <laughs> moving, that's it. Hey, right. what are we doing? Hey, oh. Get that left, like, get out there, get no, it. No. Oh. Come on! We win! Come on! Keep your hands up, Billy! No! Floyd Patterson and Ingemar Johansson, June 26, 1959. Outdoors in a ballpark. Postponed it a night on account of rain. At the beginning, it was like Johansson wasn't even in there. All three judges gave Patterson the first two rounds. Yeah, but you know, Ingo was set up. Oh, yeah, up. that's right. Uh, Ingo, he'd uh, throw out the left, and then he kept the right down. When Floyd moved, he kept the right down. Did that three times. Had Floyd thinking that. Maybe uh, there was something wrong with his right hand. Maybe he wasn't even going to throw it at all. <laughs> but, you know, Johansson turned it around. Yeah, yeah. He did more than that. Right. In the toy round, he uh, faked the left, and then he <laughs> nailed him with the right. <laughs> oh, Floyd never knew what hit him. He went down for the nine count, got up. He was so dazed, he walked into the neutral corner. Ingo had him down seven times in the round. And then he finished him off with a left, right, left. Man, the crowd went nuts. Yeah. Uh, Ingo maybe took the rap. We're not trying in the Olympics, but he sure showed them that night. You know, Max, I'm gonna fight like that someday. Billy, like I told you when we first started training, if you want a box, hey, you gotta throw out a punch every now and again. Hey, 
you, Billy. Hey, keep up the training. Yeah. Put him up, mister. Round one. <laughs> oh, so you want to be a boxer, huh? Takes a lot of training, you know. I think I know pretty much what I need to about fighting. Oh, yeah? Like what, for instance? Keep your hands up, lest you like to taste the leather. Seeing the ring sometime. I think you should call it a day, kid. You sure, kid? You know where you are? Stay down, you bum. You saw the box in his room. Okay. You okay? I'm gonna thank you. <clears throat> you know that last one, Max? I don't see how he snuck up on me like that. He came in this... Billy, why don't you quit boxing? <laughs> Max, come on. This, this is what I've been working for my entire life. Uh -huh. Your entire life? Yeah, since I was a kid. I mean, this is, this is what I do, Max. Come on. Billy, uh, there's more to boxing than just training. You, you gotta do more than uh, work out hard. You gotta have it up here. Yeah, I know that, Max. You gotta be a killer inside. You gotta wanna rip that guy's heart out and shove it back down his throat. It's a mental game, Billy. Well, I got it up here, Max. Come on, don't I? I mean... So when's the next one? Yeah. I was thinking, you think you could set me up with Rocco? I mean... You just don't get it, do you, kid? What? You're true. No more fights. Max, we were just in the Billy, training room. you just ain't got what it takes. What? What? Max. Hey, Max. They belong to the gym, you know? What'll it be, pal? Oh, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have a, uh... You need a minute? Is that the, the, the drink that they, you know, used to order? Uh... Martini, that's... Gin or vodka? Oh, uh, vodka. That's... Right up. See, I'm a, I'm a fighter, you know. What's that? I, I said I'm a, I'm a fighter. I, I, I do a little boxing. <laughs> 450. Are you really a boxer? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So when's your next fight? Um, I, uh, I just, I had one last night. But... How'd it go? It was, a uh, it was a KO in the first round. <laughs> wow. No, it's not, yeah. I'm Jennifer. Hey, I'm, I'm Billy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, how's about a drink for the lady here, huh? <laughs> Vodka tonic. <laughs> <laughs> I, so you, you like the fighting, though? You... I don't know that much about it. Uh, I, I love I love watching the old fights on the, on the TV, you know? The, the Rumble in the Jungle. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see the Rumble in the Jungle? No. You never saw the Rumble in the Jungle? Mm -mm. Oh, my God. That was a, that was a great... That was the fight. <laughs> Yeah, it was Ali and Foreman, you know, Muhammad. I'll... Anyway, they're fighting in, in Zaire, right? You know, and like, you know, Foreman is just, you know, nobody, nobody thought that Ali could even touch Foreman, but he just completely laid into him. It was, see, Ali was a smart fighter though, you know, he was, you gotta have smarts. I mean, see, the thing is, he figured out 
He figured out that Foreman had never fought a bout more than four rounds. I mean, a few times he did, but... Can, can we talk about something besides boxing? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm... I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I, I just... I think you should see the fight. I mean, it's really... It's something, you know? I mean, I mean, it put Ali back on top, you know? It was... What I was saying, you know, he figured out, like... He figured it out that if he could take Foreman more than four rounds, you know, he would wear him out, and it, and it worked. It, it was amazing. It, Ali was like a politician, campaigning, you know, this guy. I mean, one of a kind, one of a kind. He, he had the whole country on his side, and they were in his corner. You know, he was in his role, you know, he was in his role, and they're just like, ah, you, know, like you could feel it, you know? And then, like, Foreman, like, manages to land one, just like, you know, desperation. <laughs> and it's like stone silent, you know? I've never seen anything. That's... It, that's great. <laughs> oh, but it was, it was more than great. You know, it was, you know, then the sixth, you know, Foreman was weary. He was, uh, you know, and then the eighth, he was just like, ah, gone, you know? And he like, he totally like, he fell into one of, uh, one of Ali's left-right combos and he just was, he was gone. It, that was, it was beautiful. Gotta uh, go. Wait. Rocco and Billy in the west side arena. Rocco well ahead on point. And Billy is taking tremendous punishment here in the third. A flurry of jabs straight to the head. Billy tries to get ahead. And oh! A hard left sends him into the ropes and down. A referee begins tolling. He's struggling. And I don't think he knows where he is. to step into the ring. Billy looks like he may be getting his wits about him. There's some movement in the ring. The crowd is urging him on. Billy refuses to stay down. A determined young fighter is back up on his feet. And now he's charging straight into Rocco. A powerful left and the right. I don't believe he's been playing the puzzle all along. And now Rocco is Nice girl. How about another one? Can I have a beer instead? on the 